Hi guys, welcome to the video about my computer fight, and today I have a visual basic tutorial for you. Uh, I haven't done a visual basic tutorial for a while, for a while, but uh, I'm going to do one today, and I'm going to teach you how to make a calculator in Visual Basic. Now, it's not an advanced calculator. Uh, if you want to see that, do comment and just say you want to see it, because I will do an advanced calculator tutorial or tutorials in the future. So. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just, well, what you want to do, just create a new project and just make sure to Windows Forms application, I'm just going to call it Calculator. Just create a new project. And what you want to do is you want to resize the form uh, to a reasonable size. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to customize my form. You can change the colors on it and stuff if you want. Uh, but I'm just going to make it uh, the maximize box false. Uh, also, I'm going to change the form border style to fixed single so it can't be moved around and it can be maximized. Uh, and I think I'll just change the name on it to uh, calculator uh, once you've done that if, if you want to know what sizes I am using uh, uh, for this project it is 336 by 465 uh, you can make it bigger if you want but that's what I'm doing so then what you want to do is you want to add a text box to it like so and go up and change the font if you want I'm just going to change mine to Calibri and make it a bit bigger it's around about 20 and make it stretch right across the top so then what you want to do after you've done that is you want you what you want to do is add 19 buttons I know it seems a lot but when you've do, what I'll do is I'll come back after I have done that and also what you want to do is make sure that your buttons are placed but I'll, I'll just do that and I'll come back Right, so now that I've done that, I have got all my buttons sorted. Uh, I've got the clear button, I've got the square root button, and then I believe that is the the positive minus button. I'm not don't don't bat me up on that. Uh, and I've got all my uh, divide times, add a minus with your equals and your decimal point button. So uh, what I want to do now is, um, if if you don't know this, if you want to get everything centered just right in the form, if it's a big form and you want to get everything centered, you can just go to format centering form horizontally. So that's centered here horizontally and also vertically so it's in the center which makes it look a lot better. So now that you've done that, once you've changed your text, once you've got all the buttons in the text box sorted out, you want to add three little labels uh, to the bottom here. Now uh, this is just basically for your functions. Just let us put these three labels in and I'll just copy and paste that last one. Now, I know you're going to think, well, why are we putting this in? Because it'll just make everything look a bit weird and not not professional. So what you want to do is you want to go over here and you want to look for the vis visibility and you want to change that to false. So when you go on to your, when you press start and debug your program, uh, they're not going to be visible. Also, what you might want to do is just change the alignment of this text to the right so text the line and I'll just put right so now that you've done that uh, it's time for the code so what you want to do is you want to go into the clear button and you want to uh, type in text box one dot clear you want to type in label one dot text equals and you want to put two quotes like that. So then, what you want to do is just do the label two dot text equals that. And you want to do label three dot text equals that. So when you've done that, now you can actually go onto the square root button. Now we're going to have to. We are going to have to set a few variables here. So what you want to do is put dim sqrt for square root as double. And then create a new line. And next, 
next you want to do root equals convert dot two double down here uh, text box one dot text so when you've done that then you've got to create a new line t uh, text box one dot text equals convert dot two string so two text that should say or it means and then you want to put in brackets uh, in double brackets I should say you want to put in here math dot sqrt and then inside that quote there you want to type in sqrt so that's just basically declaring that so next what you want to do is you want to do your plus minus button or well that's what I'm calling it anyway and you want to type in dim num as double oh dim num as double and you want to type in num equals convert dot two double and then you want to put text box one dot text then you are going to add uh, another line according so what you're going to do is type in dim nu uh, as double and then you are going to go nu equals nu equals num equals num minus num minus num I believe that's what it is anyway and then what you want to do is text box one dot text equals convert dot two string uh, and then after that in the brackets you want to put nu then when you've done that you want to go to your number button so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the first one so I'm going to do number nine and uh, basically it's the same throughout so what you want to do is just type in text box one dot append text and in brackets so what you want to do is type in the number so this is number nine because we're doing the button number nine so then what you want to do is you want to go through all the buttons just copy and paste that go through all the buttons and just change the number to the number of the button so why I do that I'm just going to pause it so when you've done that when you, when you get onto the decimal point you just want to do the same but uh, in the brackets you want to put quotes and then you want to put your decimal point so just keep, save it along the way so just in case something happens now what you want to do is you want to go to the control buttons or the minus plus stuff like that and you want to type in the following so I'll start off with uh, the plus and you want to type in label one dot text they're the, uh, they're the labels that we made invisible so label one dot text equals text box one dot text I don't know I put that in quotes sorry about that text box one dot text and then you want to do is label two dot text equals and in the quotes you want to put the symbol of what you're or the symbol of control so in this case we're doing the add button so you want to put the add in the quotes then you want to do text box one dot clear and then you want to do then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, pause it here why I do the rest of the minus times and divide so now that I've done that, uh, make sure when you do the multiply button, you don't put an X, you put an asterisk, or you put a star. Just make sure that unless it won't work. So then what you want to do is you want to go and do the equals button. So uh, when you click on there, all you want to do is type in label 3 dot text equals text box 1 dot text. 
and then you want to put dim sign as I keep putting dim sign as char or character and then what you want to do is put uh, sign equals label two dot text after that what you want to do is put dim n1 as double and after that you want to put n1 equals convert dot two double and then you want to put label one dot text and then you want to do the same you want to put dim n2 as double dim n2 as double and then n2 equals convert dot to double and then you want to put label three dot text sorry about my type of errors here and then you want to put finally dim n3 as double so when you want to do that just put another space down and you want to put select case and then you want to put in brackets sign and then you want to put case and then in quote you want to put your uh, plus symbol and you want to type in n3 equals n1 plus n2 and then you want to put case and then in quote you want to put your minus button put a double quote in there and then you want to put is n3 Equal, uh, equals n1 minus n2 then you want to put case you want to put your times button your, or your asterisk and you want to put n3 equals n3 equals n1 and then you want to put asterisk n2 and finally you want to put case and you want to put your quotes to n you want to put your divide button and you want to put n3 equals n1 divide by n2 so now that we've put that in after the n select you want to put in text box 1 text box 1 dot text equals uh, convert dot to string and then in bracket you want to put n3 so now that we've done that what you want to do is you just want to click start uh, make sure all the code's right and I'm going to put uh, the square root and uh, no, I'm going to do 9 times 2 which equals 18 so we know that that works but we want to try an advanced feature now uh, just click clear I want to put the square root of 9 uh, which is 3 then what I'll do is I'll do 12 times by 12 which equals 144 so this calculator actually works uh, it does all the features you can do 1.2 add 1 that gives you 2.2 so this is actually working I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys uh, please give it a like if it helped and also check out my website uh, the links in that are below for there uh, check out my website I'll, there will be a written tutorial for this up uh, if not when this video is up it will be up shortly after so keep an eye on the website if you want a written guide uh, so yeah if you want to see more tutorials like this please do go on my website and uh, contact us with a video you want to see or comment on this video with a video you want to see from us uh, like a, a visual basic tutorial or something like that so thanks for watching the video guys give it a like as I said and I will see you again in the video